Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we have our very first look into the paint mechanic that they just introduced in this latest patch. Now, I'm not 100% sure about everything, but I, I do have a pretty good basis for what, I, what I'm doing here. As you may already see with the uh, fact that I have made the best change possible to my Yamato. Yamato is now officially permo black, baby. Ah, God, it's a good looking ship in black. I really, really do enjoy it. And now it's permanent and I upgraded it all the way. So if you guys are interested in how to create your own camos, uh, let's go over the basics, shall we? So we're going to go over here to our Alaska. And uh, if we go to upgrades and loadouts, you go to loadout. Go all the way down to your camo, and you will be greeted with the normal camo selection. But if you notice, center bottom of the screen, you'll have available paint, how much paint you have currently, and then you can melt the current camo that you have selected into paint, which one camo equals seven paint. Uh, certain camos, I think, are worth more paint. So like if I were to melt down my type, type one paints, they're only worth three. But for the like really good paints, they're worth seven. Okay, uh, but the other thing is you can transform them into a permanent camo. Now, currently, this shows that I need 25 to put this camo into a permanent camo. And this is the camo that I want on my Alaska permanently because I just really like the look of this on the Alaska. I've looked at all of my different camos, and while I do like... A few of them. There are a few different camos that I really enjoy, especially the shadow. Uh, I think I and the the green also tempted me there for the Halloween, but uh, yeah, I I was tempted. And as much as I do like the stars and stripes camo here, uh, it it's not as good as the the permanent stars and stripe, which is why I'm not gonna make it a permanent camo. Um, but anyway, I digress. So I want to transform whoops, this into a permanent camo. And the only way I can do that is that I need 25 of these to make a permanent camo of this. Now, keep this in mind. A permanent camo that you create is only usable on the ship that you're creating it for. Okay, so keep that in mind. You cannot transfer your permanent camo. Say I made a permanent shadow uh, for my Yamato. I can't take the camo off my Yamato and put it on my Alaska. Otherwise, everybody would just do that. So uh, it looks like I'm going to be a little bit short. I do need to go back. Uh, if you're guessing, I, I already melted down all my Type 1 camos to make this permanent. Or make the uh, shadow camo uh, like the maximum that it can get. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to do some more, some more uh, work here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to the store. There's some Type 1 camo available in Admiralty. And uh, we'll just go buy that real quick. Not that big a deal. I know some of you probably are losing your mind right now. Type 1 camo pack. So there are five of these available in each thing. So we're going to have to buy two, two of these. And there you go. So now we have officially enough camo to... Uh, or Type 1 camo to bring out our uh, our thought process here so we go over here go back here and we go to our permanent camo or what we want to be our permanent camo and we hold x do not just press x because that'll convert to paint of course if you press x you'll be prompted so like i'll show you real quick press it oh my god no it doesn't automatically knock it out but it allows you to convert in bulk so if i wanted to convert it all i could get 75 paint out of this course I'm not going to because I just literally got them so that I could create a permanent camo so now we have a level one permanent camo which gives only a negative or only a 0.5 percent bonus to sea detectability and incoming fire dispersion um, which isn't perfect obviously we need more than that and the way that we uh, deal with that is we melt down other camos to upgrade this and we are going to need 150 paint 
to get to the next tier. So, n nobody likes the Type 4 camo, if we're honest. Or at least not on any of my American ships. They look like zebras, even though I use it on my Baltimore. Uh, but if we melt this to paint, we can get 301 for the 43 camos that we have. So that's a pretty good, pretty good uh, transfer rate. Anyway, so now if we hold it, or no, 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 no. We don't want to convert it again. See, I about goofed. All right, so now you want to go up to your permanent camo that you created, and you want to hold X to upgrade. And that's going to cost you the 150. Now I need a 250 to take it to the next level. Now notice our detectability range and in incoming fire is now from, from 0.5 to 1.5. Okay, so it went up by 1%. And so if we want to do better than that, we're going to have to go higher. Now, I'm not a particular fan of the Hunter, so I'm going to go ahead and melt down some more of the Hunter paint here. Just go ahead and get rid of the Hunter paint. Not a big fan of the Hunter. So, uh, yep, yeah, we go back up here, and we can upgrade this to level 3. And now, to get this to level 4, it's going to take 350 paint, which we do not currently have. Unless we pull out the red, white, and blue paint, which is something I'm thinking about. Or just get rid of the Santa red. Uh, we can do that. That gives us 56 there. The blue. Oops. That gives us 49. All oh, because we uh, accidentally selected it. Whoopsie. So if we go here melt all right now how many did we need we needed 350 and we have 193 so we're gonna have to go a little bit further and I don't want to melt good paints so I'm gonna go with uh... oh we don't have any of those I guess we'll just go ahead and melt down the red white and blue here and how many do I need I need 350 we are just short of 200 so we need 157 all right so uh yeah let's see if we can't get 157 exactly nope we can get 161 though that'll work and we didn't have to completely melt this down so if i want to make a permanent camo out of this i need to have at least 12 of them for whatever ship i decide to stick it on but now we have plenty to upgrade to the final tier and now we have a legendary type 1 camo for our Alaska which will never go away it's permanent and which means my Alaska from now on will look like this which I actually do like this camo uh, especially on the Alaska so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this is just a quick video to show you guys how to use the paint and some of the warnings. Now, you've, you've seen it is expensive as far as paint goes, uh, like breaking down your old camos to, to make a legendary. So what I would recommend is to just do it over time. Don't rank up all the way to legendary unless it's your favorite ship. Uh, but if you just make a permanent camo for the ship that you want, it only costs, uh, up, I think 25 is the max for the Type 1. Uh, everything else, I think, is like 12, 12 to 25 uh, of those camos. You have to have 12 minimum uh, of the camos to uh, create a permanent camo for any ship that you want. All right? So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always... I will see you in the next video.